Let's talk about another service that you offer here, uh, prolotherapy. Can you explain exactly what that is? Yeah, prolotherapy is kind of the the godfather of regenerative medicine. Okay. You know, prolotherapy, it's been, you could trace it back, there's uh, studies back in the Lancet Journal of Medicine back in the 1960s on chronic low back pain. Prolotherapy kind of started because um, people would have like a shoulder dislocation and you know, there's nothing you can do. So they go in there and they start injecting things around that shoulder, trying to get that shoulder to stabilize. Or back in the 70s, 60s and 70s, people have chronic low back pain. They go in and inject different things into the ligaments of the low back to try to get the body to repair those ligaments. So what they found is the most basic form of prolotherapy is injecting a, a concentrated form of dextrose into a ligament, tendon, or joint. Now, a de dextrose is just a sugar molecule, so it's very safe. It's less side effects than a Jolly Rancher. But what it does is the dextrose stimulates... Um, it actually is an irritant, and so when if I inject de dextrose into one of my ligaments, it causes that to be very irritated. It's actually an irritating solution. The body senses that, oh, there's an injury going on there. I've got to go back and repair it. So the, the dextrose kind of acts as a kind of pseudo-injury. It makes the body think something's going on there. The body then sends healing cells to that area to start repairing it. So what happened after we started doing prolotherapy, we would biopsy people's tendons and ligaments to look inside their joint, and we found that after doing prolotherapy, there's higher rates of growth factors in that area. There's higher amounts of stem cells concentrated in the area of the prolotherapy. So we found that all the prolotherapy is doing is stimulating the body's own healing response to go back and repair that area. Mm -hmm. So prolotherapy was the trampoline for higher um, uh, injections like a PRP, which is platelet-rich plasma, and then the newest one now is the stem cell injections. Okay. So... Who would be a, someone that should look at prolotherapy? What kind of injuries or conditions are we talking about? So prolotherapy is good at stimulating repair of ligaments, tendons, and cartilage. So, for example, somebody has knee arthritis where they're losing the cartilage in that knee and those tendons and ligaments are getting loose and allowing all that grinding to take mm -hmm. place, they'd be a great candidate. Same with chronic low back pain where they've got discs that are bulging because nothing's stable back there. Things are shifting. The shifting is causing grinding of the joints in the low back, which is causing arthritis. That arthritis is then putting pressure on those nerves, causing impingement of the nerves. They're a great candidate because prolotherapy can go back and stabilize those structures that are causing things to break down. When you stabilize structures, it reverses that damage and makes it last longer. You mentioned PRP as, a, as another example. What is that exactly? What's that stand for again? So PRP stands for platelet-rich plasma. Okay. So it's a little bit of a you know higher end, maybe a little bit sexier version of prolotherapy. So with PRP, we actually will draw your blood, and we've found through science that in the blood are circulating things like platelets and growth factors and stem cells that are circulating in our blood. So what we do is we draw the blood, we go to our lab, and we, we separate out of the blood all the platelets, all the things that help the body repair. We take out all the red cells and the other things that don't help the body repair. We concentrate that down. Then I would inject that little slurry of healing cells back into my hip if I have hip arthritis, mm -hmm. into my knee if I have knee arthritis, into my rotator cuff tear if I have a rotator cuff arthritis. And we use things like this ultrasound machine right here to guide those injections down to those tears or deficits. We fill in the gap with those healing cells, and it just basically puts a healing putty that heals that body back together in that area. So using your own body's repair mechanism. Yep. Okay, yep. so let me play devil's advocate a little bit. Why isn't the body taking care of it on its own? Why do you have to intervene then to do that? Yeah, so the question is, you know, why does arthritis take, why, why do we get arthritis in the first, mm -hmm. first place? Why did my rotator cuff tear in the first place? There are a few different reasons. Um, one thing, for example, rotator cuff is, you know, I fell on my outstretched hands and boom, I ripped my rotator cuff. Unfortunately, that supraspinous tendon as we age has a pretty poor blood supply. And the only way that things can heal is by the blood getting delivered to that area, sending nutrients, sending healing cells there to heal. And usually when you injure yourself, your body is going to go back and try to repair that. So when I, when I rip my rotator cuff, it bleeds a little bit, blood goes there, and it may repair at 30% or so. Mm -hmm. Same thing, I sprain my knee. Oh, man, I just sprain that thing. It's really loose. It's lax. It hurts. And I, and I gimp for about three or four weeks. And it tr goes back and tries to repair it, but it might only repair it 50% of as strong it was before. Mm -hmm. So the problem is now I'm left with a knee that's been vulnerable. It's been injured. It tried to heal, but didn't heal 100%. So that's where the prolotherapy, the PRP, the stem cells helps because we can go back in, re-quote micro-injury that place, get the body to go back and repair it the rest of the 50%.